This is the ocean. You knew that. But this isn't just any bit of ocean. This is the Great Bear Sea, which stretches up much of the coast of British Columbia. We're going to tell you about something amazing happening in the Great Bear Sea. But first, a bit about the area. It's home to some of our most cherished wild animals. These are the traditional territories of coastal indigenous nations who have lived here, taking care of the lands and waters forever. Their connection to these waters defines their cultures and who they are. Despite all this beauty and life in the Great Bear Sea, in some ways, this area is hurting and it's at risk. But this video isn't about the problems. This is about solutions. What if we told you that we can create a win-win situation where if we give the ocean a bit of help, it will help us in return? And what if we told you that we can address problems like overfishing, pollution, and climate change, all while giving us healthy places to enjoy the coast now and into the future? This set of solutions is called marine protected areas. In simple terms, you can think of them like national parks for the ocean. The Great Bear Sea could soon be legally protected by Canada's first network of these marine protected areas, which basically means we would provide important links between the areas to maximize their benefits. These marine protected areas, or MPAs, may just look from above like regular old swaths of ocean, but what's important is that they will be protected from harmful human activities like oil and gas extraction, seabed mining, bottom trawl fishing, and the dumping of waste from ships. These protections give marine life a chance to recover and to live a good life. Fish will thrive there, and this will in turn boost their numbers elsewhere as they spill over into surrounding fisheries. We call this the spillover effect. It's kind of like reaping the benefits of living beside a forest. And these areas are and will continue to be amazing places for recreational activities, giving a boost to tourism along the coast. And once given time to heal, these areas will begin to sequester more carbon from the atmosphere and protect our coastline from storms and rising sea levels. In other words, if we create a strong network of MPAs along the coast, we'll see benefits for years and years to come. The MPA network planned for the Great Bear Sea is a collaboration between Indigenous nations, Canada, and BC. Through science and Indigenous knowledge, these partners have identified the most important areas to protect the species we all love and depend on, like salmon, herring, and whales. We thought you should know about all of this, and that this proposed network of marine protected areas is something we can use to celebrate our amazing coastal waters in British Columbia. Let's keep the wonders of the Great Bear Sea alive for us, our children, and our grandchildren to enjoy.